Mr. Wilson, he's not feeling well. Let me take a look at him. I'll leave first. What are you doing, you two? Dare to mess around here? Callista, is your brain only capable of seducing men? Why is Callista in your office? I have a headache and see her for treatment. I am also a doctor. Why didn't you come to me? You can't treat my illness. Yorick, I don't like you. I'm tacting Callista. I'm afraid she has other thoughts about you. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? If you have needs, you can come to me. Anyway, we're mage. You should go out first. I have a meeting later. Oric, even if you only have Kalista in your heart, I must snatch you back. Useless. Even if steal a bidding document, you can't do it well. You can find someone else. I'm oh, good at arguing back. If you don't want your brother die quietly in the hospital, put it on and follow me. Your taste is getting better. What is this lady's name? Mr. Lou's talking to you. Let's have a drink. Why don't you take the wine? My name is Callista. Callista, you get together with my brother. Why didn't you tell me? We just got together not long ago. Elsa is shy. She doesn't want to come out with me. Meeting friends right, Delista. Your taste is so bad. You are interested in this kind of hostess. Bad women. Your Calista is with my brother. At least you won't worry about her little brother's medical expenses. So, brother Morris, doing targeted party alleviation. Let's do some charity then. And give Miss Myers' brother a glass worth 2,000. I don't drink well. Callista, drink it quickly. Mimi is helping you. Right, brother? I don't mind. It's all up to Callista. Dogs that you can't tame. Even if you help, it's useless. People like Mr. Wilson. I'm sure everything he raised, they'll all become hostile. Callista's drinking capacity is really bad. You like drinking so much. Then the alcohol on this table. Drink it all tonight. Don't leave until you finish it. Where are you going? I'm going out for some fresh air. Callisto, you're more capable now. What? I can't satisfy you anymore. Your taste is really bad. Like those bad women. You're interested in. Yeah. You can't satisfy me. After all, President Morris can give me a status. But you can't give me anything. Callista, if you have the guts, say it again. Callista, where are you?
Do you think this man really loves you? He is just treating you as a plaything. Where are you, Kalista? We still have to go to the hospital to see your little brother come out quickly. Winslow is using Cedric to threaten me. Kalista, are you really this bad? Can you be with any man casually? Yes. I am just that bad. It's been six years. Mr. Wilson, you still don't understand. If I'm not bad, how can I be with you? Entangled for so long. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Callista, if you dare to leave, you try. Callista, don't forget whose woman are you now. I know. There are many people here. Let me go first. It's more exciting this way. If I refuse now, and so will definitely not, let Cedric go. But if I stay, if I am, seen by your, I won't have a chance to choose. I can't lose Cedric. President Morris seems to be in a good mood. Do you want me to call a group of people to come over and watch? President Wilson is joking. I just flirting with a Callista. Right, Callista? Why am I so ridiculous? You're to take me away from here. Callista, did you want Yori to save you just now? It's none of your business. I would choose to be villain. I want to keep a good reputation. I'm Winslow. What I hate the most is women like you. What do you think of a man like you? Who only threatens women? Do you think Yorick is some kind of hero? Fool, let me tell you. Your brother is still in the hospital. In coma. It's because of him. Let someone put something in your brother's medicine. He wants your brother to die. More than I do. Impossible. Cedric has no grudge against him. Impossible. You are wrong, Kalistasi. Look at me. Stay with me, okay? I will use all means to make you forget him. What do you want to do? What? Wenzel didn't send his fiancé back. No need to bother President Wilson. Hello, stop. You know what are you like now? You are now like a shameless, low-level woman. Oh, no. You are worse than a whore. At least she still judges. Not only are you free, but also begging men to play. Yes. I'm worse than anyone. But what can I do? Everyone is forcing me. Fred me! Can I you obey? What? Do you want me to be like Wenzel? Play with you in the car? I won't dirty your hands. Stop the car. I want to get off. What? Just be with Wenzel. Treat me. Such impatient. I need to go to the hospital. No need to be so sarcastic. President Wilson, are you still going to watch me die? I'll take you there. Cedric is still in the hospital. Hasn't woke up for one month. What happened, Doctor? Just added some medicine temporarily. I'll leave first.
Yorick, Cedric has no grudges against you. Why did you harm him? What is this? Mr. Wilson, great acting skills. Kalista, have I been too nice to you recently? Making you forget about my temper. You betrayed me. I haven't settled the matter with you yet. Now you dare. Come over here to question me. Believe it or not, I'll make your little brother. Never wake up for the rest of his life. You dare. Since any man can be with you, fine. You have to please me just like you did to Wenzel yesterday. Otherwise, I will make your brother die immediately. Hurry up. Be obedient. Drink the medicine. I hate you. Kalista, you hate me. I know. You just slapped me. Then give me a sweet date. Like taming a pet. Taming me. Miss Myers, your little brother is away, but the treatment fee you deposited has been used up. Please, come and pay as soon as possible. Okay. Can you lend me some money again? Hellastar, are you treating me like a charity? Lend money. Isn't there a man outside? Go find him. I want to go home. Cedric, wait for me for a moment. I'll go find the doctor now. No, don't go. I beg you, I don't want to stay here. Do you still think I'm not embarrassed enough? Okay, then I'll go through the discharge procedures. Can't let Cedric go back. He already has a rotten leg. If these injuries leave sequelae, it will ruin his whole life. Can my brother's medical expenses be given a few more days? No. You have already been overdue for four days. Make up the fee. Doctor, I also want to ask. My brother was arranged to the corridor. Is it the hospital's arrangement, or is there another reason? Miss Myers, have you offended someone? You should know it. Thank you. Miss Myers, I have done as you wish. I'm talking to Callista. Cedric. It's finished? Well, it's done. Let's go. I'll carry you. Can you carry me? I could carry you when we were kids. Why can't we carry you now? Go look it up. Why Cedric was discharged from the hospital. Thanks to our busy person. Come and pick me up after work. Let me reward you. Rosie is still here. Pay attention. Rosie is one of us. Yorick, my mom said. We have too little time to build a relationship. She wants me to quit from the hospital. What do you think? It's your own business. No need to ask me. You are my fiancé. Shouldn't you make decisions with me? I don't like making decisions for others. You? Pull over ahead. I'll go back by myself.
Wait a moment. Do you need me to call a car for you? No. Goodbye. Do me a favor. President Wilson, how about this deal? Use your baby lover's intimate photos in exchange for your giving up investment in the bike ship project. She is not worth this price. What if I send your intimate photos to Lavinia? To your grandfather. Do you think our Morris family will spare Callista this attempt to sabotage our alliance between the two families? Alright, I am your brother in law. In my eyes, you are already a dead person. What do you want to do? I came out. Auric, you dare touch me. You try! Speak. What did Wenzel do to you? Speak up. Not talking, huh? Do you want these photos to be seen by your brother? I beg you, don't let Cedric see. Don't be afraid. Is your brother still alive to see it is unknown? What are you going to do to him? <sighs> Cedric. Do you feel sorry? Yorick. What do you want? Come at me. Don't hurt Cedric. Alistair, it's you over and over again, challenging my limits. Do you think I want this? I can't stand to be away from you crazy people. If this continues, you will drive me crazy. Kalista, Kalista. Alistair, I heard you're sick. I came to see you. Thank you. Actually, I came here today. I want to apologize to you. My brother's matter, I already know. I'm sorry. I don't know why he took your private photos and hurt you. The one who should apologize is not you, Dr. Morris. You really don't have to take all the blame on yourself. But I still feel guilty. And about your brother, I also know. Do you need help? For what? Rescuing your brother from Yorick's hands and... Your brother just had an accident. Now he's under Yorick's control. I'm worried he won't make it. Can it really be done? Of course. Yorick loves me so much. He definitely won't blame me. Dr. Morris. Can I ask you? To help me leave the city? I really want to leave this place. I don't want to be entangled with York anymore. Well, actually, I think the same way. Three days later, I will take you out of here. Thank you. Thank you. How did it go? <sighs> Cedric, don't be afraid. Right away, we can leave the city now. I hope we can have a safe day today. There must be no mistakes. Yorick. You came to pick me up from work? You should come pick me up every day from now on. Is that okay? I'm happy when I see you. It depends. You're such a silly guy. Don't you know how to comfort me? Let's go to the Mandarin Duck Lake later. What are we going to do there? For a date. We've been together for so long. You haven't spent quality time with me. Miss Myers and her younger brother, they're amazing. What? Go find them right away. Alistair, do you think you can run away? <gasps> 
Don't fight anymore. I beg you. Tell them to stop hitting Cedric. He will die. Callista, I gave you a chance. It's your own fault. I know I was wrong. I won't run anymore. Please make them. Please make them. Stop hitting him. I beg you. Bastard. Halista. You can't kneel down to him. Cedric, don't provoke him. Halista, do you still have any dignity? Even I die. You can't threaten Kalista either. What's wrong with you, huh? Show me that you really can die. You only talk big. Even if I die, I will still take someone down with me. I kill you. <laughs> Cedric. Cedric. Are you okay, Cedric? Do you feel very dissatisfied? Don't forget. It's all because of you. Cedric. Why are you saying this? You're afraid of me. Yorick. Let Cedric go. He is innocent. As long as you behave obediently, I will naturally let the useless person go. Cedric's body can't withstand any more torment. What else do I have to do? You will let my siblings go. Okay. As long as you please me, make me happy. I will naturally let go of your brother. Callista, don't forget. All of this you've caused today is because of your brother. He got you into this. <laughs> Yorick. I regret it now. If I had never met you, it would be better. Nyan, Nyan. I won't be soft-hearted towards them. I will definitely make Cedric pay the price. Alistair, leave me. Don't ever think about it in this lifetime. Don't touch me. Cedric. Using your dirty body again. Dirty body. To please that man. Who wants you save me? But as sister, I can't just watch you die. But right now. But right now, I feel worse than dead. Alistair, every time I think that I have a sister who is a bad woman, I feel disgusted. It's the greatest shame of my life. Never grateful to you in my life. Even if you save me, in my lifetime, I won't appreciate you. Cedric. I have begun like this. It's all your fault. Alistair. If it weren't for you to go and be that man's bad woman, would my leg be useless? Get out. Get out. You leave. Get out! Cedric. Sister, stop bothering me. I'm a burden. Without me. Maybe you will be happier living than now. I'll go in first. You go home. Strange. Yorick clearly went home. Opposite direction, why? What's wrong? It's so late already. Aren't you going back to rest? Alistair, is that the kind of person you think I am? Am I that thirsty? I didn't mean that.
But you said it. Whatever. How about we get her room? What are you doing so late at night? Follow me. Finally escaped. Are you hungry? I have two candies here. This is my favorite. When I was a child, it's also filled. How did you get this thing? I specially prepared for you. Try it. Is it delicious? Let me take you back. What's wrong? Don't you invite me in? Take a look at you and other women's love nest. Can you give me an explanation? For example. Men love to play, I understand. But that was before the engagement. I am your fiancé. Can you please respect my feelings? You said if I marry you, you will be happy, right? We are already engaged. Of course, we will be happy. I didn't consider your feelings before because I thought something like family marriage is all about interests. It shouldn't involve emotions. I thought you would think exactly same as me. However, love can be cultivated. We've known each other for so long. If it could be cultivated, it would have been long ago. It's not too late for you to regret it. What do you mean? Are you breaking off our engagement? I'm just telling the truth. Maybe one or two years. You can live with it. What about many years later? How would you handle it? I won't regret it. I will always be with you together. Okay. Then tonight you sleep in the guest room. Don't touch anything in the room. If Kalista dies, will you change your mind? Happy birthday. Thank you. I admire you have such an old sister who accompanies you daily. Look at the girl next door in the hospital room. Hospitalized for a long time. No family member. <sighs> this person might really be gone one day. So we should cherish the days we are alive. All right, I won't disturb you now. It's your sibling's birthday. Nurse Cheng, have some cake before leaving. No need. Thank you. I have to be on duty. Sister. What's wrong? Actually, the little girl next door. I also know. But today, I heard from Nurse Ching. I realized. Actually, being alive is better than anything else. Sister. Before all, I was too stubborn. I always scolded you. I apologize to you. Can you forgive me? <sighs> Cedric. Sister has never blamed you. We are family. Sister. Let's stop crying. Oh. Today is your birthday. Blow out the candles. Happy birthday. Am I ugly? You are the most beautiful person in the world. Smooth talker. 
Let's cut the cake. Let's cut together. Okay. <laughs> the first one is for you. There are strawberries on top. Really? Sister. <laughs> Miss Myers, you are pregnant for 10 weeks. Usually pay more attention to rest. Don't overwork. If Yorick knows I'm pregnant, he must want to kill me. Alistair, do you have anything hiding on me? No. Not today. Are you in period? Didn't deceive me? Absolutely. Can't let Yorick know. No. I think, even if this child stays, Yorick won't love him. What's wrong? Feeling unwell. Ugh. I'm here for a medical checkup. What illness? Is it serious? Not serious. Irregular heartbeat. <sighs> Take good care of yourself. Keep a positive mood. We are good friends. You can tell me anything. <sighs> Thank you, Dr. Morris. Then I'll go home first. Wait, Carista. Next week, remember to ask your husband to come with you for prenatal checkup. Your baby's heart rate is unstable. Take good care of yourself. Callista is pregnant. Yeah, it's been over two months. Just wait a few more months. We can finally have Callista's baby full moon celebration. All right, I'm going into work. Dr. Morris. Don't be afraid. If I had known earlier you were pregnant with Yorick's child, I will let Yorick go for you. But now... I'm pregnant too. I have to give birth. It's a good thing. But when I marry Yorick, your child will become a bastard. The Wilson family won't accept her as their own. What about you and the child? It only depends on how Yorick arranges it. You must protect the children well. Baby, I'm sorry. Dr. Burns, I want to have an abortion.